And um, on that issue of, of Marcus Rashford and the provision of uh, free school meals, uh, you'll be able to hear our TV exclusive interview. Letter, which some of you might have seen sent into the Daily Telegraph. It's called Grandpa Never Dies, and this is what uh -huh. it says. I note that some are warning... Offers ...have been brushed aside by the United States in the 43rd Ryder Cup. ...from him and the other members of Team Europe when they last won the... Now, the uh, biggest overhaul of business taxation in a generation. That is a quote from the Labour Party. They're promising that as they lay out their plans to cut business rates in England and then phase them out... It's yeah, fantastic, it? wasn't it? That's it's really beautiful. Uh, seven minutes past nine is the time now. There was the sound of the 60s. And the catchy song that I tried to sing, oh, I decided to say earlier on, I now have it confirmed, I got it right. Do wa diddy diddy dum. To see you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank in this you. Morning. Thank you. It is 16 minutes to eight. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News, our main story this morning. A strong earthquake. Time to talk to Carol now. She's out and about and she's in Newbury for us this morning. Morning, Carol. Well, uh, which is which is a bit of an honour, yes. isn't it, yes. to be immortal? Yes. <laughs> Pope punching. He's your man. Well, look, I see you die, and the top thing was to swim with dolphins, and then it was jump out of plane. And you, you swimming with it. You put well. your arm. Well, it's Poo. Poo. it looks like paper. Oh, oh God. its belly is. So we go in the water to see how small this belly is. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> see those yeah. circumstances. Can jump out of <laughs> Uh, chopping bloke. <laughs> I stand behind him. <laughs> which is, uh, in that. Which, well, yep. oh, wait, which is, uh, if you know your Lord of the Rings and your Hobbit, it's Gimli. Oh, so I think they look like Mr. Men's shoes. No, in fairness, they're stupid. Like, did you do you do special kind of tricks? Was a live vocal? Yes. Is <laughs> now <laughs> my tongue. And do you want to see? Can you try it? Come on, everybody, please, 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 please sing! <laughs> <laughs> But he looked like he was going to tell us he collects string or something. <laughs> I, yeah. knew, I knew, I knew straight away. <laughs> and nothing. I'm so jaded. Yeah, we're like. Alex is back, guys. Hey! hey. hey. He was there on a he weekend, we were calling it. And we were trying to guess where he went. We uh, had a whole segment actually dedicated you to guys, it. Yeah, you guys spent a whole lot of time for nothing, because I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what, you it were running with the elk in Custom State Park? <laughs> no, I was not out there. But that looks like that would be a fun thing to do, to check yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. It really does. All right, you guys, have a great day. We'll keep it going here this morning on America. Thanks for joining us here. Moving on through the week, uh, we got some changes on the way for a lot of folks. We've been talking about a lot of the warmth. But it's going to get cold for a lot of spots. I know. What do they call it? A fool's way. So here's a look at where we are now in Jackson. 
14 degrees because yes, this next system brings in the cold as well. Feels like five and you can see the snow showers in the area. For the moment, they're, you know, fairly uh, few and far between, but there will be more in the coming days. And especially for Colorado and for Utah, we've got some tough travel ahead as we get Wednesday uh, into your uh, Tuesday, later Tuesday into your Wednesday. So winter storm warnings are up. That's a darker blue. Um, but the winter storm watches, which are in that bright blue, they extend out into the plains. Look at this. So parts of Nebraska and then into um, Kansas. We are going to see some impacts when it comes to travel into Wednesday and then Thursday. So let's time it out and show you what's coming our way again at national parks on their bucket list and they're trying to check them off maybe get to all of them and as well so just a lot of soggy weather yeah out there. all of a sudden we kind of got stuck in rain after such a nice week last week alex you took off the right days <laughs> actually did. It was beautiful. um but we are going to see some showers repeat themselves this week we're also going to see some thunderstorm chances today we look at uh, Watching when news anchors dance, <laughs> a horror story <laughs> brought to you by Yes. All right. Yes. Happy Friday. 25 years later, still got it. Netta. Here, I'll turn it off now. There that's we go. That's how you gotta wake up in the morning, though. You know what I'm saying? We're rap. He goes rap. <laughs> Everybody's doing the macarena. Can I mention one thing in traffic? There's a crash on the northbound 805. that Donald Trump gets away with it. Can I add a wrinkle to this before you talk? Because there's some breaking news here. I think you're all going to want to hear this. I definitely. Be that Donald Trump gets away with it. Can I add a wrinkle to this before you talk? Because there's some breaking news here. I think you're all going to want to hear this. I definitely. Be that Donald Trump gets away with it. Can I add a wrinkle to this before you talk? Because there's some breaking news here. I think you're all going to want to hear this. I definitely. Here to get anyone to care about it. So with Plan B, Senator Graham. Um, <laughs> so I'm a Floridian. It's my home state. We gotta love Governor DeSantis. Um, Senator Graham. So, so just a, a couple of thoughts. One, this is about leadership, and I think I think the senator and both Blake mentioned it. You need leadership from the top, not only from the president but from members of the Senate as well, saying particularly when we talk about opioids and fentanyl, this is the number one crisis.
But those pooches are going to go from bow to wow. All right. And hopefully to a very good home. Yes. First, so Al has a good check of the weather for All us. All right. As we look at that's your latest weather. Your uh, hair is still wet. I, I'm <laughs> dripping in the back. Dripping. Look at this. I'm still at the pool. All right. Coming up next, you want to create a sense. Oh, oh, those pooches are going to go from bow to wow. Hopefully to a very good home. First, yes. so Al has a good a check of the weather for All us. All right, as we look at that's your latest weather. Your uh, hair is still wet. I, I'm <laughs> dripping in the back. Dripping. Look at this. I'm still at the pool. All right, coming up next, you want to create a centerpiece like. here in Davos where we measure how inclusive different economies are worldwide and I think key to, to understanding what that term actually means and breaking it down is, is really that there is no trade-off, that, you know, that both growth and social inclusion can go hand in hand and in fact they should. Uh, it's not a zero-sum game but in fact inclusion can be an important driver of growth and it should really trickle down and benefit all. So I, I, I would very much echo um, a lot of the points that you made in, in the what from historical experiences has had the biggest payoff and where could we you know start out with you know looking at gender different minorities who have been traditionally kept from all of these different wide array of opportunities as a beginning but i don't think it should be an end and for th these changes to be be politically sustainable. I think everyone has to feel like it, it, it helps us all and it lifts everyone, not just, you know, these very targeted groups. But I think, you know, you have to do those two in parallel. You can't have an either or, as we've, as we've heard. Mm -hmm. Employment, uh, living standards in terms of life expectancy. Uh, we also look at different measures of inclusion, um, poverty, inequality, both in terms of income and wealth. And then how sustainable is that? So how much How are you on a Wednesday? I'm Robin Lee. We are so delighted to be the ones to start your day. Let's dive right into some of the days to and where you end up in this tournament. Go ahead. You two fall on different sides of this issue. Yeah. We've been arguing about I, it all morning. I, I don't like Andy all right. goals. You score 20 goals. So be it. It's the biggest competition in the world. Goal differentials matter. It's not like you're only playing Thailand. You're playing against your entire group. You need the most goals. Sort yeah, that, that means, say, the United States ends up having plus. 13 goals in all of their games, and Sweden ends up having plus 12. Well, we really settles a tiebreaker. Yeah, and, and this is the thing, too. You know, it's a lot of these players' dreams to score a goal in the World Cup. But so sport is fortunate. You're saying don't put the brakes on. You're saying yes, put the brakes on. Yes. The, the tiebreaker that way, if they want people to be uh, more, I guess, uh, it is. It, it is. And, but, Robin, see, this, this scenario doesn't really play out much in the men's World Cup because the competition, girls, high schools, well, high school team could probably beat Really? Thailand. Okay, so then why are we playing that way? Why wouldn't you lose based on a tie of my sportsmanship and the sportsmanship's out the window? Well, then at some, point, right? at some point, how many goals is enough, Robin? Well, it depends on what the team that is next yeah, what to is the so, so, now, so now you're promoting all the teams to beat up on poor Thailand. Let's go out and score 50 points. So we're in Thailand. agreement. We're all in agreement. FIFA needs to deal with it. Yes. <laughs> 
because of sportsmanship. It comes down to sportsmanship. <laughs> you wouldn't be laughing if you know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> but if you're, you're I poking said, the bear that way. If I said I'm okay, you and I are playing. Yes. And I'm running up the score, or you're running up the score on me. Correct. I wouldn't if do I that. If I said to you, then next round you're gonna play and beat me up, because you might have to. No, I wouldn't. I will win with class. I will Even win though it in meant the second the tiebreaker, game. you yeah. lose. working out those are games There's something you can do now without that cords and yeah. cables getting in the way when you're trying to get your thank you on. megan <laughs> so some dad ideas <laughs> Oh, hey there. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> I wanted to show something, and um, our crew member, I was like, you be a star. Come here, Megan. <laughs> she so does. Thank you, Megan. She, she, just said, she just gave us this. Listen, I have one more idea. This is so cute. From HoorayHeroes.com. Um, it'll take a little bit more time. Yes, it says, you can't scare me. I have two daughters. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a t-shirt. It's on Amazon. Have at it. <laughs> Thank you, guys.